Welcome back to episode 2 of the Tamale Project folder from the Northern Regional Office of the PURC. All-time unprecedented intervention strategy. Unfolding more of our achievements. High demand for the split meters by residents of Tamale, which used not to be the case in the past. Initially, the beginning of this year, it was a taboo for anyone to initiate a conversation about the new meters in Tamale. But through the intervention of TURC and the numerous engagement we've had with the members of the community and stakeholders alike, um, a lot of people are embracing these new meters because they've seen the benefits of the new meters through the education PURC has given to them. Significant reduction in commercial laws of NITCO from 45% to 35%. It was painted in the northern region that NITCO recorded 45% losses commercially with the power distributed to the people of northern region. This is owing to the fact that um, a lot of people use the, the power distributed to them without paying. But coming on board with these new meters and the engagements that um, PURC have had consecutively with the people currently, NETCO's um, losses have reduced from 45% to 35%. So what this means is that NETCO is now better off than they used to be in terms of revenue collection because even a single percentage increment in their revenue collection means a lot in terms of managed terms. So having to reduce from 45% to 35% means a lot to NETCO in terms of their revenue mobilization. A total of 61 transformers have been injected to improve voltage levels in the communities that the speed meters have been installed. During our conversations with the community members, some of them raised issues of their voltage situations in their areas. So we assured them that before NETCO would come and install the meters for them, they would first of all have to strengthen their voltage levels. So through the installation of these new smart meters, NETCO has so far installed or injected about 61 and counting transformers into the communities just to stabilize the voltage level for the community members to be able to use um, these new smart meters. A total of 1,391 low voltage poles have been used to strengthen the network in communities the PURC has intervened for NETCO to penetrate so far with the split meters. Owing to the economic challenges of northern region, there are a lot of communities who, by virtue of the fact that are not able to extend um, the electricity to their homes, they use these interconnections. So PURT took cognizance of that fact and got into um, agreement with NETCO that in such communities, NETCO should be able to erect um, low voltage poles without putting that burden on the consumers. So you find out that NETCO has, they've been able to erect about 1,631 low voltage poles in these communities where they are installing the meters. So as a result of this, um, the network levels in Tamale metro metropolis are far better than the days before the new meters were installed. So currently as we speak, if you go to any community in Tamale, they would attest to the fact that they now benefit more from the electricity um, supply to them than before when they had low voltage issues. Watch out for more achievements from the Tamale folder in the next episode. Thank you for following us.